Today's the day. California's new lieutenant governor will have his inauguration ceremony, but so far it hasn't been an easy ride for Abel Maldonado. Our political analyst John Dadian is here to talk about his background and some of the challenges he will be facing, and there are quite a few. So, hey, thanks for coming in to talk about Good this. Good morning. Yeah, you know, I, I went to Santa Maria in 1996 when he was first elected as mayor at the age of 28. So, long time ago, just long, starting out. Long time ago, and again, he's had a very successful career. Went to, to the Assembly, then the State Senate. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about what happened then. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger makes this announcement on Jay Leno that he is going to uh, uh, nominate Maldonado. And then it sort of uh, it gets a little rough from there. Can you kind of explain that background? You can't take the Hollywood out of the governor. He had a, he announced <laughs> Always his on Jay Leno. <laughs> announced his candidacy, then he announced his lieutenant governor pick. Yeah, it was very controversial, and it's been five months. And, of course, the lieutenant governor spot opened up when the incumbent was elected to Congress, so he had to vacate that seat. But, yeah, it was very controversial and a lot of behind the scenes on both the Republican and Democratic side. The way that it works is once the governor uh, nominates somebody, both the assembly and the Senate both have to confirm. The Senate confirmed him. The assembly didn't confirm him, but they didn't reject him either. So that's where the legal wrangling started. The governor was, says, well, then I'm going to appoint him anyway or swear him in. And the Democrats said, don't do that. We'll sue you. The governor was very smart. He withdrew the nomination, waited till they had the votes, resubmitted. and resubmitted it. And now we do have a new lieutenant governor. Uh, he's the first Latino uh, uh, to hold statewide office since the 1870s. So I think that's long overdue for California. Absolutely. So now uh, that this has happened, there's kind of a game plan for the Democrats for that Senate seat that is now vacated. Absolutely. One of the strategies, clearly, for the Democrats, they, they knew he would get confirmed. They wanted to delay it long enough so it could both impact the lieutenant governor's race, which he is now running for that office to, to keep in the office, and also his Senate seat is vacated. So now that's going to be a special election sometime in the future. That hasn't been called yet. So the Democrats want to pick up that Senate seat, which they have a very good chance. His district in Central California has changed demographically, so Democrats have a very good shot of picking that up. And then they think if that strategy works, then they have a chance if he makes it to the general election to beat him there. That's absolutely correct, but again, he is in a Republican primary. He has a very, uh, he's got several Republicans running against him, but one of his fellow state senators who thinks that he's going to get the nomination. So it's going to be extremely embarrassing, I think, for the governor if, he, if his choice for lieutenant governor doesn't even make the nomination. Okay, so what happens next then for the June primary for him? Well, for the June primary, again, uh, uh, because he just officially got confirmed and sworn in last week, and today's the ceremonial inauguration, um, the June primary has already been filed, so he won't be on the ballot as the lieutenant governor. He will be on the ballot as, I believe, he's state senator and farmer is his occupation. So um, that's already, and that hurts him a, a great deal. So the June primary, you have both two big Republicans and a couple other minor candidates running. And then on the Democratic side, you have two very tough candidates, one of them being the mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom. Them, the other one being Janice Big name recognition. But, but Janice Hahn of Los Angeles is also, so it's really a north-south uh, battle on the Democratic side. So once that's happened, then the general will be the one-on-one, -on -one, whoever the Democrat is, whoever the Republican. We don't know if it'll be the current Lieutenant Governor Maldonado or not. Okay, so, so and now that uh, he is, you know, the Lieutenant Governor, what are some of his big responsibilities? You know, I, I was reading this uh, radio interview, and they're saying, well, what does the lieutenant governor do exactly? I can't resist this one. The, the <laughs> joke since this state has been formed in the 1850 uh, has been that the main uh, role of the lieutenant governor is to open the paper every day and see if the governor is still breathing. I mean, uh, <laughs> and a lot of people, including our current governor, have called for the, either the abolishing of the office or the other pr proposal is to have it run in tandem with the governor so you don't have the possibility of a different party, which we had until Mr. Garamendi resigned. So the, the, the office, a lot of people think, shouldn't exist, um, but there are some duties. He sits on the State Lands Commission. He said, uh, you know, there's other uh, educational commissions that he sits on. So I think that it is an important issue. And again, um, it can affect a lot of things. George Duke Majin was considered for vice president in the late, late 80s when George Bush was running. The reason he took his name out of contention, he didn't want to turn the state over to a Democrat lieutenant governor. So it can have many implications behind the scenes. All right. And I can't resist when he was uh, first elected as mayor, the, the, the slug line that was always out there what to was advertise that? him was, he's ready, he's willing, he's able, Maldonado. Who did? I what? It was a long time ago. Who knows? He may bring it back. He's running in June. I doubt it, but we'll see. All right. Hey, thanks. Always good to see Thank you. Thank you, Linda. All right. For more information, go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics.